Oh well. Oh well. Hi hi. I retorn. Sorry, OBS again. I don't know why. Sometimes the app just stops recording. Hello. A fishing village once huddled among the great buildings along the shore. Kala's Wraith might still linger there, pining after her former life. I must find Kala to understand this curse and cleanse it from my blood. My father thought she could help us. Pray to the Ashen that he was right. A fishing village once huddled among the... I must find <laughs> No wormies on. Oh, good. That said, I do like wormies. I am very fond of wormies. They're good friends. Stamina cost down half. Your stamina cost to sprint is reduced dramatically. Okay. I will remove Drifter, I think, or. Hmm. Let me see. What's my health? My health is. 72 plus 60. Wow. Why is it plus 60? Yeah, I don't need that. That's fine. Cool. Ah, oh, so removing is free. That's good to know. No wormies is a cute misspelling I've adopted, but a major disadvantage is that it misrepresents my actual stance about wormies. <laughs> You're good. I I know you you like wormies. All good plushies love wormies. They're too good, too kind. When my daughter. Wormies are friends. So, where is Spear Hunter Lady? Maybe she moved. Oh, a new home. Yay, item down here? Sure is. Everybody's getting places to live. Through studying Bataran, I have learned to spot the light's telltale marks. A blemish here, a twitch of the eye there. Early signs not to be ignored. Now hand me those Einar heads so I can take a good look at them. Their eyes and ears will tell me much. Brains, too, once I crack open these skulls. I understand. The bond between hunter and prey is a close one. That said, I'm happy to give the heads back to you once I'm finished with them. <laughs> Through st now hand me those Einar. See these raised blemishes on the ears and nose? Signs of sickness, for sure. These Einar seem no more resistant than you or I. <sighs> we must
must look elsewhere. A good hunter needs a good spear, and my spears are better than most. Come see my workbench. There might be a spear with your name on it. Cool. Balance, strength, and the ability to punch through the toughest hide. Those are the qualities of a fine spear. Drop by my workbench, and I'll show you what I mean. You look like someone who appreciates a fine weapon. Come to my workbench, and I'll show you a spear that can drop a foe at 30 paces. Balance? So, can I buy spearheads from anybody? It takes all sorts to build a foe. Yes. Aw, oh, that's nice. Cool. these four. Um, having some uh, extra spears at all. Yep. Won't need spears for a good long time. And I can upgrade my flask. Also upgrade the hammer I like more for being faster. I think I'll do that instead if I can. It's 9,000, I see, and 4,500. I could go kill a single wraith for that, actually. Let's go do that. Now I can run twice as long as before, and I'm loving that. I enjoy having everything on my tablet. I do so much drawing in bed, I would probably hardly ever draw if I had to open up a program on my computer box for it. I feel that, yeah. Sometimes it can be a hassle. Cool. And that's what I needed. Let's go. I kind of wish I had a uh, tablet for drawing, but I have, um, paper and a nice scanner. So I can always draw if I- I can always draw on paper if I'm, like, away from my computer. And then I can, um, just scan it if I want to show it off in high detail.
from the quests. But yeah, I liked the couple fault pen doodle sessions I've done, but I don't have a scanner. Scanners are so nice. Just because uh, they're better than taking a photo, and I really like drawing on paper. Um, yeah, if I'm... Um, Yeah, I prefer drawing on paper. I just can't, you know, color as easily. It's harder to undo things because every mark leaves a bit of a permanent mark. You can't do layers. It has its upsides and downsides. Ultimately, ultimately, I prefer paper because I have finer control. Um, even with a screened tablet, paper affords me better control. Um, but, uh... It's just really convenient being able to do something digitally and just have it there already. Sorry, that was kind of rambling and I lost what I was saying halfway the through. is strong, but the sickness is proving stronger. We must hurry. There's a beast that stands taller than a listener. It digs into the ash. A corb. These creatures can survive and even thrive in the ash of the stormed ruins. I've watched them spit their bile into the ash before digging. That bile is our key. A corb is a tough beast to bring down, especially one from the stormed ruins. And that strength is our clue. How can they be so hardy while surrounded by sickness? So long ago did the Ashen die that all bar the listeners were born in darkness. And some creatures, like the Bileus Corb, have welcomed the light more easily than others. A Corb is a... I jump in without planning shit at all, so layers are like completely mandatory if I want to make more refined stuff with colors and such. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I am not a planned artist by literally any means. Literally that little plushy doodle I posted yesterday, that thing's ten layers, don't ask me how. <laughs> I feel that. No, layers are absolutely wondrous. I'm very grateful for them. Oh, big map. Not that big, I've seen, I think, a uh, solid third of it so far. But it probably gets a lot harder. And then there's the DLC, which I have no idea about at all. So, Batteron is down there. Nicole's down there. Vorce is down here in Cinder's view. And Isla is down there. Cool. Big lake. Any other quests around here? Doesn't look like it. I'm excited to see all these buildings and homes made. It's exciting. Around plushie is 35 layers. Yay! The one with the really fun tummy. And yeah, I, I use so many layers. Oh my god. I use layers for like every color. Ugh. Oh, now you can see the whale friends from here. Good. I really like that plushie's tummy shape. It's very good. Also, I think I might be done for the night. Like, I might come on later, but I think it's time for a little break. I might get some food. Oh, <laughs> hey, Maddie. <laughs> Aw, oh, sorry you dropped in right now, right as I was uh, finishing up for the night. 
but I'll be back on. I think I will play this either more later tonight or tomorrow because it's not a terribly long game and I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's chill Dark Souls. Relatively chill. Alright. <laughs> Sorry again that you came in right at the last second. But I will be back on later, maybe tonight, probably tomorrow for at least a little bit, even though I have work later in the evening, but we'll see. I'd like to stream more now between... I'd like to stream more between now and my next shift. So. Love you all. Plushy, plushy, plush. This is Maeve playing Ashen, having a great deal of fun with it this time. And I will be back on later. See y'all later. Bye.